Hi guys, welcome back. Episode 9 of the Journeyman Save. Right, we are in the 13th of January and um, we're in some pretty decent form. We've just dipped slightly. We were sitting first for our, uh, for quite a while and we've just had a few results not go our way and we've dipped down to third. Um, so, uh, do we had the beginning of the season, <coughs> which went well. Um, we had some great results. A, a seven-two over Plymouth stands out, um, and we were we were just blazing through here. Beat Brighton in the League Cup second round. Uh, then we drew with Middlesbrough, and we ended up losing uh, on penalties, which was disappointing. Um, FA Cup first round beat Oldham. We had a replay with Dagenham and Redbridge, who we beat. Uh, the Football League Trophy, <laughs> we beat Scarborough. Uh, and this is when our, our form started to dip. We lost to Wigan here. We did beat Port Vale. And then we lost to Bristol Rovers. Drew with Notts County. Drew with Plymouth. Uh, lost to Norwich. And then just beat Darlington recently. So that little dip of form there has hurt us. Um, we've got a third round replay in the FA Cup coming up today. Which we drew one all against Bristol City. Which we probably should be winning that game. Um, so we're going to look through the league we're going to go through the Football League Trophy North second round against Bury today. Brentford, Bristol City, and we might fit the Wickham game in there as well. Um, Squad-wise, players in. Um, we brought in Christopher Doig from uh, Nottingham Forest just to shore up that defence on that left-hand side. Um, players out. Um, we had a bid come in for Lee Bullock from Luton. Um, we managed to get half a million for him, which I was very impressed with because, I mean, he's quite slow. And his passing off the ball is alright, so he's, he's not too bad. And he's playing quite well for me. So they came in and I was like, yep, sure, take him. Um, our finances look good at 1.3 million in the bank and just over two, sorry, 1.3 transfer and just over two in the bank. Uh, other than that, um, we're looking to get Delroy Facey in potentially on a, he's, he's coming in on a free next year that'll be good give us another striking option um, and we got Jez Murphy um, to come in on loan because um, <clears throat> if you remember James Ferry uh, he was getting injured so I got a physio report and he had to go out six months for surgery so I sent him back to, um, to Inverness County Thistle um, because you know unfortunately he just wasn't gonna it, you know, and I thought we'd get someone else in, so we did there. Um, other than that, Luke Beckett is killing it. He's mm, smashed in 34 goals in 27 starts and one substitute there, so he is absolutely destroying um, the league in terms of goals um, and average rating. And Jamie Victory obviously is performing well anyway. So let's get into the York game today. Uh, Everyone, oh, Kensdale Sheriff, um, Neil Gibson can come out. So, um, let's move Logan onto that left hand side. We can only have the five subs for this. So Donovan, uh, let's go. Um, Beach, uh, Wilding plays a bit better. Uh, Tokely and 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 Velasquez, whatever his name is. Cool, cool. Everyone looks pretty good. Let's get out there and uh, drop that commentary speed down to fast. Um, so you guys can actually hopefully keep up. I hope the speed's not too fast, guys. It's like this is how the speed that I mean, I, like I said before, I play it very, uh, very fast for me. Um, but I think if you play this game, you you get used to to reading this text super quickly anyway. So um, we are all over Berry. Um, it's a bit of a bit of a nostalgia. Obviously, if you're re looking at my uh, my Berry save, my save Berry one, we're into season. Uh, well, at the time of recording, I'm into season nine. But probably by the time this comes out, <laughs> who knows? Uh, and we are all over them. Jez Murphy has got a knee injury. Let's get him off because I don't want 
Um, I don't want another loan signing to go down. <coughs> so I think the way the season's going, guys, I, I definitely think we should be up for uh, promotion and a, and a trophy. Just let the time go a little bit too far there. Um, everyone looks good. Beach is tired and he's on a yellow. Um, Hopefully on the beach, and we'll just do. Uh, wait, what am I doing? That's right. <laughs> cool. Everyone else is all right. Centre backs aren't doing great, but me. We're not going to lose this game. Hey, good stuff. Nice, easy win there over Barry. Good, good. Oh, that reminds me. We actually. Um. um Blackpool, we lost out to, if you remember, we were trying to get Danny Webber um, on a free. He actually went to Blackpool in the end, which was quite disappointing. Um, anyway, it would have been a good signing to play behind the strikers. Righto, we've got Brentford in now in four days' time, and then that massive FA Cup third round replay against Bristol City, um, which I'll be... Um, we're at home. I think we've got a good chance of progressing in that one. Um, Stephen Hitchin. Mm. Yeah, Scott Minivan. Mm. Yeah, he's okay. He just his jumping and heading is really bad. Not very acceleration is poor. Yeah, we'll give him a we'll skip him. Um get Gibson and Our sheriff back down to the bench. I think he is the uh, he's the lone player. So um, yeah, so I think we've we've got a good chance of getting maybe the football league trophy. Um, and and Darlington. Yeah, there's only only one team left in there anyway. Hmm. Yeah, Blackpool beat Chester 6 1 now. I suppose it's Chester. Yeah, only League One teams left in there, as you'd expect. <coughs> so, anyway, all good. Yeah, I like the Football League trophy and uh, and promotion uh, up to the, the championship, which. Uh, which would put my manager ratings in uh, in good stead. Oh, there's Hereford beat Brentford in the uh, FA Cup third round re replay. Oh, how good would that be if we got them in the fourth round? My old club. <coughs> Shouldn't just have a, uh, a quick gander on how they're doing, actually. I think they're doing quite well. Um, which is... Which is good. Um, the... I don't do it a lot, but when you change clubs, I've always noticed that the club you leave seems to just dive bomb um, really badly. I mean, the computer doesn't play, or the AI, I should say, doesn't play the same tactics as you and whatnot, so you don't expect them to do as well, but, you know, you do leave them with some decent players, so hopefully they could figure it out. All right. Yep, four players. I think I've looked at most of these. They're not that fantastic. Uh, not bad, except he is 30, but he could be a good championship player. Um, Alright, let's just have a look. England, League 2. Yeah, look, Hereford, they're seventh, so they're pushing for a playoff spot. They're playing really, really well, uh, as you'd expect with, uh, you know, Stephen McAdam, John Grant, and Misham Jarvan in the team, although they're not scoring as much. All right, here we are. So, mm. <coughs> um, I might, you know what, I'm confident 
Yeah, I believe it is. I'm confident in my squad that we've got enough rotation to get through um, this and then get through that, yes, Beach. Um, get through that Bristol City game as well. That was his fifth. He's not scoring as many as he did last year. Um, maybe they played him up front last year. Whereas, obviously, I've signed Luke Beckett this year and he's just a monster. So, he's got a minimum fee of $5 million, so um be interesting if any clubs do come in for him. Um, I'm surprised no one has come in. Damn it. I'm surprised no one has come in uh, already. Oh, should have had a penalty there. Um, Breach was fouled in the penalty area. He's like, he was fouled in the penalty area. I'll be, <coughs> I think, complaining about this referee if we draw or lose. And I don't really want to because it would be another league game where we're struggling. We are jumped up a little bit as we've got games in hand, which is good. Um, I think Jez Murphy, is, I noticed he was... Uh, he's just lacking match practice. Probably get him off. And he's on a yellow as well. Um, Jamie Victory. Not having the best game. How's he looking? We'll leave him on for a bit. What's he not doing? Mm, decent passes. He hasn't won any tackles. That's why. And he's finally won one. Let's quick check. Chris Brass on a yellow. And Kevin Beach now has a foot injury. Let's get him off. Um, and we'll get Jamie Victory off for Kinsdale Sheriff. Try and push. Change the mix passing. Trying to create more opportunities here. Get in Luke Beckett from Kinsdale Sheriff with the assist. Um, let's just... Close this down a bit. <coughs> there we are. Good stuff. Whew, that was a good win. Back into second. And we have a game in hand behind York. Which is good. Good, good, good. I'm happy with that. Happy with that. Good. They're happy. Right. We've got Bristol City in the third round replay. Because um, hopefully, hopefully we can get past them. Fourth round. Pull a biggie. Or even, um, like I've said before, pull a big team away from home or another small team that we can get past. That's what you want. You don't want some middling, awesome championship team who's playing well, who has a small stadium. Because <coughs> there's just a chance, excuse me, that you'll end up just going out and um, and not getting any uh, getting any cash. I mean, we're good for cash. We're over two mil in the bank. So, but <coughs> the squad will definitely need a massive, massive. Um, massive strength in, in the uh, in the summer holidays. Summer holidays? Summer break? Yeah, well, summer holidays sounds good. <coughs> Alright, Bristol City. Uh, everyone's good. What have we got after this? We've got Wickham. So we'll be able to rest up for the Wickham game. That's good. Uh, I think an unchanged team is the way to go. Um... Get out there. Oh, six minutes. Six minutes. Jamie Forrester. Ah, oh, Jamie Forrester leads. If you remember in my um my leads ninety three ninety four save, he's uh he's really really good. And he's not actually too bad in this, to be honest. Good stats. That is disappointing. They're one shot on target. Get in Brackstone. He has been off. <sighs> Brackstone has been quality for us. Look at these assists. 17. <sighs> I'm super confident about this. Get oh my god. Dad, this is gone. And getting a new goalkeeper next year is, is just too many inconsistent performances. 
I did have um, Roberts came in for a bit as well. Uh, he was six and sevens, but he got three weeks with a damaged foot. So, um, and take off Jed Murphy. He's not doing anything. Some mixed passing going. <coughs> this is going to be tough to come back from here. Especially when the time's just gone so quickly. Let's try that. Welding. Come on, guys. One more. Take it to extra time. I'll be happy with that. No, no, no. Mm. We should have won that game. Crap performance from the goalkeeper has cost us there. And their goalkeeper played well. Getting annoyed about disciplining him for poor performances. Oh well, that's it. We're out of that. We're out of the FA Cup. Uh, that's a blow. We've just got. I, I knew we weren't going to go. You know, fourth round. I think actually we had fourth round had already come in. Ah, oh, Fulham. That was it. Fulham would have been a good, a good bet. You know, a good decent sized stadium, twenty thousand. All right. At least that eases a bit of our fixture congestion now. Um, it's just a blow to go out to a fellow League One team. Um, <clears throat> you know, always back yourself to get um to get past a team in the same division as you. Um, but when that happens, it's just it's just gutting. Just gutting. I don't think we've. I don't think we've got a game at the weekend now because that must have been the fourth round of the FA Cup, I reckon. Hey, Danny Kadramati. <laughs> got him from Bradford. Yeah, he's decent with decent pace, actually. Let's add him to the shortlist. Um. Yep, yeah, Luke Beckett. Yeah, he's playing well. He's playing really well. Like, he's killing it killing it. He had a bit of a drop off for form actually at one point and he was uh, averaging over a 9. Um, let's have a look. When have we got? Yeah, Wickham's on the Wednesday. Alright. Oh, it was a long time for this Wickham game but we're here. Um, so everyone should be 100%. I think what I'm going to do is take off Jez Murphy. He's really, really struggling uh, at the moment. Sixes and he's at sixes and sevens. Ha ha ha. Literally. Um Roberts is coming back. Uh, I would swap him but Digby's crap. So anyway. Um mm, let's go. Hold on a sec guys, just wanna pause it. <coughs> Sorry guys. That's all right. We've grabbed one back. Jamie Victory. Another shot on target. <coughs> Definitely need a new goalkeeper next year, I think. Um, what's his chops is not going to be cut out for the championship. Yes, get in. Logan. Yes, puts us back up the top with a game in hand. Good, good, good. not good. Still should have enough to um, to get through this game, I think. What did he do? What did he do? What did he dangerous poorly timed two footed challenge. Alright. Let's get back out there. Come on. I 
one's good. Mm. Thomas can come off. Struggling on that right-handed side there as well. Gibson's not playing too well either on the right. Get Andreas on for him. And we'll leave it at that. I don't want to hear that my goalkeeper was rooted to the spot. Oh, Beckett. I was literally just about to take him off. Get in, Brackstone. That's clinched it. Phew. Sigh of relief there, because we should be 18th placed Wickham. that but what I'm also going to do is discipline him for dismissal in a prior match yeah accepted all right guys um, we're gonna leave it there um, through to the quarterfinal of the league football league trophy north round uh, out of the FA Cup but we are top of the league um, we'll probably come back towards the end of the season here um, we might have a football league final on the 18th of April um, and then the last couple of games hopefully to crown us champions uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the content please leave a like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you next time, bye